Okay, question three. Oof, you know, I actually love these kind of questions. <laughs> Oops, wait, 5M shouldn't be there. So, number three. A particle P of mass 0.4 kg is moving on a rough horizontal ground when it hits a fixed vertical plane wall. Oof, so it sounds like collision. So before we do this, let's go ahead and draw what we know from the first sentence. So we've got particle P has a mass of 0.4 times G, and of course a natural reaction going upwards, R. We also know that it's moving along a rough horizontal ground. So this means that there's going to be some frictional force to the left. Well, we can pick which way, but I'm going to assume that the direction of motion is to the right here. Yeah? So as it's moving, there's going to be a trail of friction behind it. Now, this particle will be moving to, to a, such a degree that it's going to eventually bang into this vertical wall. Okay, so here comes the collision process. Now, let's check it out. So immediately before hitting the wall, P, the particle, is moving with speed 4 meters per second. So let's say the particle, and change the color pen, reached over here. So we can say now that the before speed was actually 4 meters per second. Okay, so far so good. Now the particle itself, let's have a look. Um, rebounds from the wall and comes to rest at a distance of 5 meters from the wall. So let's have a look. So, so let's, let's draw the next diagram here. So suppose it rebounds from the wall. So we don't know what the after speed is yet. So let's call it the speed after the wall. And it's going to travel to a certain distance 5 meters away. And eventually it will come to rest. So this is where it comes to rest with speed of course 0. Okay, so far so good. Now, the coefficient of friction between P and the ground is an eighth. So mu equals an eighth. So this is just all standard procedure. Now, find the magnitude of the impulse exerted on P by the wall. Okay, so before we, you know, use SUVA and resolve forces up and down, let's write, let's just write a general impulse equation, yeah? So looking at the wall, the impulse will be going like this. The impulse is always like a reaction force, but against the wall. So resolving to the left, we could say that the impulse is going to be impulse I equals the mass of the particle, which is 0 0.4 times the difference in velocity. So it will be V minus mu. So V in this case would be the after speed, so VW, minus the before speed. So because we're resolving to the left, this 4, because it's pointing to the right, will be on the left. So it will be a positive 4. So that's it. So essentially, we just need to work out the value of VW. And when we have that, we can solve the impulse. Now, before we get here, we should also consider the acceleration, okay? Well, the, more like the deceleration, because we know that the speed will slow down to zero. Now, how to get that? Well, all we can really do here is simply um, use some, s s try resolving um, the general particle forces, yeah? So let's look at the particle. So let's go ahead and resolve upwards, yeah, from the particle. If we do that, we can just say MR equals 0.4G. Why? Because there's no because there's no acceleration. It's perpendicular acceleration, so it's going to be of course zero. So that's all done. Now resolving to the direction of the acceleration. So let's let's take this particle, the blue one here. If we resolve to the direction of the acceleration, we can say we're going to have now minus f equals mass times acceleration. So 0 0.4 times a. Now we already know what the value f is. F is just a frictional. F always equals uh, mu times R. So because we know mu here is, is 1 over 8, and we know the value R, it's just going to be 0 0.4G. So now we're just solving for A, and if you do it, you should eventually get A equals minus G over 8. So I'm going to leave it in this form. Yeah? You could simplify it and put 9.8, but I think until we actually solve the question, it's always best to leave it in the general form. So, okay, we've got acceleration. Let's put acceleration here now. So, update this value to minus g over 8. Now, looking at all the variables here, we can say, firstly, looking at this diagram here, we have our initial speed u, we have our final speed v, we have our distance here s, and we have acceleration a. So, just write down a equals minus g over 8. Initial speed from the after diagram is vw. The final speed is zero and the distance is five meters. Okay, now how do you relate this? Um, yeah, so think of all the SUVA equations. Well, the only one I can think of that works would be this one v squared equals u squared plus 2as. My tip for SUVA always write down all your equations on the page. Yeah, anyway, putting all the values in, so putting zero here, vw here, and so on, you should pretty much um, resolve this to get something like this 
vw equals so the value u should equal 10 over 8 g or 504 g so that's what i got okay now since you got your speed over here um oh yeah square root obviously that's it so that's what you should get over here now that you got your vw here just literally smash into this equation here and yeah you should get your final result so plugging in i should get so 0 0.4 times square root of 10 over 8 uh, i should have done this earlier times 9.8 uh plus four yep you should get exactly three newtons so therefore the general solution will be three newtons for the impulse yeah and that's it guys hope this video helped and let me know what you guys think okay other than that i shall see you guys soon ciao